Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe we're going to do this again. I can't believe we're going to talk about modern mammals living with dinosaurs. I can't believe we're going to talk about Calvin Smith just lying again about the fossil record. Now, this is going to be a golden example of exactly what I said in the last three videos, which is Carl Warner, as much as he might try to say that he doesn't say that there are true beavers that lived with dinosaurs, but just things that kind of look like beavers, and he hedges and hems and haws. What I've been saying is, when he people read his book, and when people listen to his talks, they come away with the impression that beavers live with dinosaurs. Okay, that's what I'm saying. They believe he's saying that. And he can say that he's not saying that, but everyone who listens to him believes that's what he's saying. And here we're going to have proof once again. This is a video that just came out today from Answers in Genesis. Actually, Answers in Genesis Canada. This is Calvin Smith, who... I know what he's doing here. He's actually just reading his blog post from uh, you know a, a month ago or so, the one that I talked about in one of the previous videos, right? That I actually read portions of it and talked about how he um, and talked about how he was a, a, a good example of falling victim to Carl Warner because Calvin Smith doesn't know any science. He certainly never has looked at these fossils. He's never looked at the original research. He's never looked at the original papers and read the descriptions. He has no idea that he's had the wool pulled over his eyes by Carl Warner, okay? So I'm going to give him a like the slightest bit of a pass, all right, because he had faith in somebody he shouldn't have had faith in, all right, that he's just repeating the things he's heard, that he thinks he's heard, all right? that I think is what I've heard too from Carl Warner. All right. It's the impression I had. And he's simply repeating the lies. All right. And that's what makes this thing so pernicious, right? Is that uh, people hear what Carl Warner says, they repeat it and they repeat it and then they repeat and they repeat it. Uh, and Carl Warner doesn't take any responsibility for people not understanding what he's really saying. Although I'm not really convinced yet that Carl Warner doesn't actually believe that these are beavers. You know, what, Joel, what are you talking about? Let's just get to the video. I'm going to show just a couple short clips um, from uh, Calvin Smith's video here in which he illustrates my point. All right. Now you listen carefully and you see if he says what I think he's saying. Example. What if you turned on your TV to watch an evolutionary program? that showed dinosaurs wandering around in a pine forest, along with bees buzzing, squirrels running around with frogs, turtles, platypus, and beavers. Aha! Do you hear that? And you see the picture over there? That's a beaver. He cut out a picture of a beaver and he put it on the surface. Like, what if you had really been shown the truth, right, at the museum? that there's this dinosaur and but dinosaurs also had squirrels uh that's actually a no-no too there, there's no known squirrel that is the same squirrel as a same as a modern squirrel not even anything closely related to squirrel nothing in the squirrel kind all right with dinosaurs and so wrong on that account uh and then he goes to the beaver and that's really the one we've been talking about right that's the one i've made the big deal about he says there's a beaver found. I'm not going to relay all the details of things what I've said before. You can go watch my previous video, which I'll link below. And that video, we go to the original paper and we read the original description of the fossil and how it's more otter-like than it is a beaver. But it's not even an otter either, right? It's, it's not an otter. It's not a beaver. It's its own thing. It's its own mammalia form in a completely different group and extinct lineage. But if you're watching this video and you heard Calvin Smith say this, you'd say like, oh, and there was a beaver living alongside the dinosaurs. We have evidence of that. He's completely wrong about that. Uh, let's go forward. Just listen to a little bit more. Swimming around in a nearby pond while a badger hunted and then ate a baby dinosaur, a Psittacosaurus for lunch, for example. Uh, newsflash, that's not a badger. All right again look at the original research calvin smith i know you haven't done it you just 
trusted the source, right? Go look at the original research on that. Go read, go read the original paper and see if that's what that is being described as. The idea that mammals ate dinosaurs and that beavers and T-Rexes hung out together in pine forests fit with how you've seen the age of dinosaurs depicted? For most, based on how dinosaurs have been marketed? Yeah, of course not. You know, he's right. Most people aren't, in, they don't imagine in their minds because they haven't been shown beavers living with T-Rexes. Except there's no evidence that beavers lived with T-Rexes. Okay, that's that's the whole point of this, right? <laughs> there weren't any, well, there is no currently, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll say this more carefully, currently we have no evidence that uh, beavers lived with T-Rex. All right, let's move a little bit farther forward and catch the other aspect of this, which is what he has in his article, which is he says that uh, a scientist came and uh, said that he was wrong. In other words, he has been informed that he's wrong. Now, I think I've informed him that he's wrong, and then he made this video, but let's just say he doesn't he doesn't know who I am. I'm pretty sure he knows who I am, but he doesn't necessarily have to have watched my videos. I can accept that, right? Um, but he admits in his article that a scientist, basically a paleontologist, wrote him and said, you're wrong about this. And uh, even then, he doesn't bother to do the background research to find out maybe I was wrong. Now, amusingly, I once had an evolutionist write to me to complain that I was misrepresenting what had been reported. His argument was that when I referenced a beaver, for example, that it wasn't a true modern beaver. He also complained. I, you catch that? So, I mean, this person wrote him and he said, this beaver you referenced is not the same as our modern beavers today. Right? So he, he has been informed of this. He understands it. And the badger you mentioned is not some simple badger, but it is this other organism that is in a completely unrelated group to badgers. And yet you're calling it a badger. That's what he's calling him out for. You're calling out and saying that you're giving people the image in their mind that, oh, there's a beaver living with dinosaurs. Oh, there's a badger that was living with dinosaurs. And he's saying that's not true, All right? You're mischaracterizing those particular fossils. Now, how does Calvin Smith respond to his being challenged by an expert in the field telling him he's incorrect? Mind you, He's not an expert at all. He hasn't looked at the fossils. It doesn't like he it doesn't like like he has a deep knowledge of this. Did he ask himself and reflect? Maybe I could be wrong. Hmm. Let's see. Claimed that what I'd simply called a badger was actually classified as a Repenomammus robustus, which is true. That was its assigned Latin name. However, when I asked him if he'd be contacting National Geographic, ABC News, Nature Journals, the BBC, Science Magazine, etc., to inform them that they were wrong for using titles like Jurassic Beaver swims into view, fossils suggest platypus lived in dinosaur times, or Cretaceous duck ruffles feathers, he never got back to me. You see, I'm a big believer in what's known as farmer logic. It's the type of common sense that declares if something looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, and acts like a duck, it's probably a duck. <laughs> if, it, if it acts like a duck, then it's a duck. If it walks like a duck, it's a duck. If it looks like a beaver, it's a beaver. If it looks like a dolphin, if an ichthyosaurus looks like a dolphin, then it's a dolphin, right? If a whale looks like a a mosasaur, then a mosasaur is a whale, right? I mean, it's like <laughs> this is the it's such silly logic, and, he, and he's like it even admits it's farmer's logic. It's just like I look at the organism and it looks kind of similar, so therefore, dinosaurs lived with the same animals that are around today. But I think what what really you know gets me here is that uh, well, I'll say galls me here is is his attitude, his flippant attitude about um, responding to somebody who's trying to tell him that he's been hoodwinked by Carl Warner, right? Because he he really believes that that thing is a beaver, right? That it is a beaver, that it is like the same kind of organism, that that is a modern beaver, and he puts a picture in his video of something that looks just like a beaver, right? That is a beaver. Um, 
And so he is wrong about that. He doesn't really understand the differences between that fossil and um, a modern beaver. And he's certainly not presenting those differences to his audience. But he has the hubris to simply respond by saying, oh, well, why don't you go fix this problem? I mean, you called it. I mean, that actually, that person wouldn't have been the person who wrote those articles that called it like the Jurassic Beaver, right? Those are just catchy clickbait titles to give uh, people an idea of like, hey, there was an organism that lived in the Jurassic that had a beaver-like characteristic. And the only characteristic it had was a tail. So go back and watch my video. We go over all the characteristics. And there's a bit of the tail that has some similarity to a beaver, right? But the jaw and the teeth, right, are not a beaver. And they're not even a rodent at all. I mean, it's a completely different type of organism. It happens to have one feature that's kind of beaver-like. Kind of like an ichthyosaur, which is a reptile, has a lot of, have some similar features like flippers to a dolphin and so i mean according to calvin smith he could look at a dolphin and go like that's an ichthyosaur and oh so ichthyosaurs dolphins also lived along with the dinosaurs you know in the water ichthyosaurs right i mean he could easily make that argument with his logic here but he never took a moment to even ask the question of himself is that really, maybe that really isn't a beaver. He's telling me it's not a beaver. Maybe I should go check. Maybe I should do a fact check here. Kevin Smith, not exactly a fact checker. I mean, he he just imbibes young earth creationist material and repackages it, all right, in a very smooth way. Um, um, he is, is no expert on any of these things, uh, and he has no intention to ever become an expert, all right? He's just a manipulator of information and he has been manipulated in this case um, by carl warner uh, and his belief in all things that carl warner has done into the fossil record ducks long necks beavers sharp tooths badgers and spike noses all live together at the same time it helps normalize the fact that according to the fossil record these creatures simply all live together at the same time Alrighty, catch that? I played one extra little clip toward the end where he then re-emphasizes after denying this person's charge that, that these were different, he then reiterates through another example how there are organisms that look just like today's organisms and we should be comfortable understanding that all the same types of organisms are alive today were alive with the dinosaurs. And he once again puts his picture here of a badger and of a beaver and says it. You heard him say it, living with beavers and badgers. Hmm. Maybe they did, but if they did, we have no evidence of that. Right? We have no evidence of that, that they did. All right, that's it. I just, it's the same thing. Yeah, all I'm going to do is repeat myself if I continue because it's just the same old stuff over again. But I promised that if I saw somebody repeating this claim about a beaver or being found with a dinosaur that I was going to call them out on it. So that's the purpose of the video is to say, like, look, you got to stop doing this. All right. This is I called my video answers in Genesis has to stop lying about this because it is deceptive. It's simply not telling the truth. And we'll leave it at that. All right, till next time. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.